with CE Pro, and I am excited to be joined by Frank D. Philippus, National Sales Manager at Dish Network. Hi, Frank. Hi, Jason. How are you? Good. You know, Dish is really pushing the custom integration channel, I'll say out of its comfort zone almost. You um, are moving them out of just being satellite. You're talking about things like cord cutting and all these sorts of things with, with new products. Give me a, a sense of why that's important for custom integrators. Absolutely. So, you know, the world's changing on how uh, people, people consume video. Uh, Netflix really changed things for all of us, right? Uh, and it's, it's also true of customers of this channel. And um, it's great advancement in product. This channel tends to be a bit of an afterthought. There's no business models and revenue models for dealers. So we want to become part of that because we're in the delivery of video business. Uh, so we have a software platform called Sling Television uh, where our dealers can sell a subscription to Sling Television and it's live TV over the internet in a much more modular uh, Netflix-like package um, that people prefer. And we also have a hardware product called Air TV. Uh, an Air TV player is an Android source that has been optimized for Sling Television, but it's also been optimized for dealer profit, right? which is something that's been missing in that category from some of the other popular players. And um, you know, we think that's important, right? People in this channel need to make money on, on parts and labor. It can't be go buy this at the Apple store and I'll install it for you later. It needs to be, that's not really our model. And it, it's okay for disruptive technologies and we all adopt things like that, but long term, we need to make money on parts and labor. Okay, so we want to support that in every way we can. And we've got hardware and software that does that with Air TV. And cord cutting, quite honestly, is, is very competitive to the dish traditional satellite TV model. You know, so why are we doing it? We're doing it because it's gonna happen, right? It's a, it's a revolution, it's a change in the delivery of video, not just in the delivery technology, but the packaging and how people pay for content, right? People at all income levels are tired of the $250 a month cable bill, right? And so the revolution's gonna happen with or without Dish. We just decided to get out in front of it and, uh, and create a product. We actually created a separate company uh, to do that. And it's, it's going really well. A lot of dealers, themselves are cord cutters and most guys are more interested not so much because they want to sell to their customers because they want one for themselves we're okay with that because it's going to be the way they're going to learn this technology and ultimately they are going to sell to customers and as you said that that next generation of customers they're they're consuming more video and in more different ways than ever before it's not like tv watching is down video watching is way up that's right the concept of watching TV is an old term, it's a bit dated, um, but video consumption has never been higher, right? But if you talk to recent college graduates, even 30-somethings, um, the world lives on Netflix and Amazon Prime, Hulu, and YouTube. Uh, and it's the overwhelming majority, it's not a small group. That's the way that video is going to be delivered in the future. Now, the piece that's missing from all that is live TV, right? People still want to watch the morning news or the evening weather or the football game on Sunday. And we enable that through integrated antennas with our Sling television package. Um, it's a very elegant solution, but it, but it requires an installation which is why we think it's good for dealers. Let's talk about the Air TV player and how that works with Sling Television. So Air TV player is an Android box. Um, dealer costs about $70, retail costs $120, okay? It's a one-time hardware fee. It runs Netflix, it has access to the Google Play Store, it comes with YouTube. It's a 4K enabled device. It ships with a remote. We also have all the discrete IR codes for all the control platforms, that's important. It's optimized for Sling TV. You don't have to subscribe to Sling TV. You can just use the box with Netflix if you want and make a few bucks. If your customer wants a mini cable package, you can sell them a Sling TV and make a commission okay, and sign them up. Uh, the customer will then pay a monthly fee and the dealer will make a commission. Um, so it's, it's a cord cutting ecosystem suitable for a custom installer. Adoption has been, been a little bit slow right now, uh, but we're starting to talk a little bit more about it. It's become more of our messaging for custom integration. And um, as guys are using it, the feedback's actually really strong. 
Tell me a little bit about this new product, Sling Studio, and how that can be utilized by integrators. Sling Studio is, is a bit of a departure from products that we've had recently in that it's not something to be, to be sold to a customer. Sling Studio is a, is a tool that an integrator can use to market themselves, okay? It's a video production system. It supports wireless cameras, overlays, and allows you to, on the fly, create a live stream of anything, okay? It could be a party at a customer's house. It could be an install that I'm really proud of and I want to share. It could be that, it could be the high school football game in my town it's not quite on cable, but everybody in my town wants to watch that high school football game. I can work out with the high school that I'm going to live broadcast that game and I might watermark my logo on it. That's a wonderful marketing vehicle and I'm now getting my name out to, the, to my entire service base um, and all I did was use a $990 um, system to live stream the high school football game or a dance recital. Or a, or a church service that certain people can't travel to in, in inclement weather in the winter. It's a wonderful opportunity for integrators to communicate with the world, uh, either what they do or other things that are technology related. So a few of them are into social media, so this could really bring them along, so to speak. Absolutely. There's some dealers that do a great job with YouTube channels and, uh, and live broadcasts on, on Facebook or Periscope. This is a wonderful tool for dealers that are doing that, and it's a wonderful tool for other dealers who know they should be doing it but haven't yet, you know, dipped their toe in that pool. So, Dish recently bought a company called Parkify. What is it? What's that all about? Yeah. So Parkify is a smart parking startup based out of Denver, uh, venture funded. Uh, they had done about 70 projects uh, towards the end of last year, and. What a lot of people don't realize is that Dish has been buying up wireless spectrum for about 10 years. We've got quite a war chest. Uh, we haven't done anything with it yet. Wireless spectrum is the raw material for building a wireless network. So our plans, this is public knowledge, is to create a 5G wireless network, not for voice, but for data. Narrowband IoT network. Parkify is an example of a smart cities application that would benefit greatly from a 5G enabled narrow band IoT network for a couple of reasons. One is the, the radios for that type of network are going to be are going to be very very inexpensive. Battery life to power those radios is going to be greatly expanded. And the whole cost of that sensor is going to be reduced drastically. When that happens, all of a sudden now business models explode because I can be putting sensors everywhere that communicate in real time at high speeds with low latency to an app or an edge server somewhere, and now there's all kinds of applications that become possible. The Parkify acquisition was meant to be uh, a learning for DISH. We, we acquired all their intellectual property. We have manufacturing facilities that will allow them to cut their costs on developing sensors. But we also brought in some really smart talent, the people behind the scenes, including founder Ryan Sullivan, uh, to help us learn this space. Uh, because we envision dozens and dozens and dozens of use cases for a 5G narrowband network. Parkify is a great example of it. And Smart Cities is a great application. And by the way, there are tremendous opportunities for integrators um, in, in, in smart cities, in smart agriculture, um, in IoT, um, even in smart home. Things can change um, when you have that kind of wireless network and low cost sensors. So. That's why we got into it. It's, it's based on things that are hopefully coming in the future. Well, I commend you and Dish for really leading the way in the industry. Frank DeFilippis, Dish Network, thanks for joining CE Pro today.